Hi everybody, welcome to Plant Liker. I'm Steve Roganbuck, and this is the best meal ever. That's actually what I call the meal. Now before I start, I wanna point out I'm wearing two kinds of camo and one kind of high viz. So what am I really doing here? Let me just say, you can make this meal in lots of different variations. It's kind of like a type of meal rather than only one specific meal, but I'm gonna show you my favorite variation on it. First ingredient, brown rice. Now I got this weird quick cook rice, which I guess is more convenient, but I, I'm a little scared. Next ingredient, I prefer corn. If you're not into corn for whatever reason, you can also do many variations on this and black beans is another good one. Then we sort of make a sauce or a something, a cream that goes over it all with this. An avocado, nutritional yeast, a little bit of soy milk. I use the unsweetened so it doesn't have uh, sugar in added. Salt, now this is the unhealthy ingredient. I still, I just think it makes it taste way better, so I still eat it. Uh, turmeric, if you don't know about turmeric, start knowing about it. The anti-cancer power of turmeric. Also, pepper, just ground up black pepper, actually makes the turmeric work even more powerfully, but also it's a good taste in there. So this is what we got going on. Now I actually already made the fucking rice in a rice cooker, and it looks a little weird, I think because it's that parboiled, it's that quick cook, but you know what, I don't give two fucking, I was gonna say I don't give a rat's ass, you know, it's not really about that. Could be a rat, could be a human's ass. I don't give a actual human's ass about this rice. It, it looks a little weird, it looks almost like couscous. You think I care? I eat out of this cake pan. A lot of people tell me this is bad for my health because I'm scraping something off here that I'm probably eating, but, just don't worry about me, okay? Take your brown rice. Now, why brown rice? Why not white rice? The chewiness of the brown rice is best with this dish. Trust me. You can try it with white rice afterwards if you want with white rice, but I prefer the chewiness of the brown rice in there. So you've got your pile of nice brown rice. What next? What next? Well, you gotta whip open that avocado. Now with avocados, you're obviously, you're going for a little bit of softness. This is a kind of a small one. Cut around. Yeah, usually I just whack the, whack the pit and get it out like that. Now I'm just gonna put this avocado right in there. If you're trying to keep your fat content low, you, you could only do half an avocado in here, it'd still be good, but I'm going full avocado because I'm living large tonight. If you can mash it with a fork directly in there, that works great. If it's a bit harder of an avocado, sometimes I'll kind of slice it with a knife first and then I'll try mashing it. Now, next, usually I add the nutritional yeast. This is the best ingredient that God ever came up with. And you, there's no measurement, just truly use, I feel like there's no maximum amount. You could truly use a shit ton. This is a few tablespoons, you know, and that, that will probably be a good amount. Like I said, the less salt, the better nutrition wise, but sometimes for the taste, I, I go heavier than I should. Turmeric! I don't go too heavy on the turmeric either. I just shake a little on. And I'm cranking on that pepper, just a bit. I was forgetting the corn. I just put it on to heat it up a little bit. I could just pour it directly in there. Corn is fine to eat it directly from the can, but it's a little better if you get it heated up. All right, I got my corn. I drained the water out. I'll just dump it all in. Then the last ingredient, the soy milk. Yeah, I don't know, just, just a little bit. Just, you know, a pour or two. You can always add more. Then you just mix it all together. And here you go. This is what it looks like. The texture of mine tonight is a little weird because of this quick cook rice stuff, I think, but it still tastes amazing. There's so many variations on this. If you do this version, you can add so many different other seasonings into it. You know, try different combinations from here. If you wanna do a different version from this, you could substitute out the rice for some whole grain pasta. I've done that version many times. It's very good as well. I think I've even done a version that had quinoa instead of rice. You can substitute out the corn. You could put in some beans and then it's like a rice and beans dish. Okay, have a good night. And uh, you know, try, try your best. Try your best out there. Eat more whole plant foods if you can and hail Satan if you want to, no pressure.